throw anything away on your way out to be a trash can for you on the jetway. Welcome to Los Angeles and thank you for observing the festival sign. Doing a little oh, YouTube. Oh. Some, some little YouTubing you want to be in? <laughs> there we go. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. The journey to rebuild Megabots starts in LA. I have someone to help out with some of the marketing and sales stuff. He's a buddy from high school, so really happy to have him on board. Uh, and he's with me. Hello. His name's Emmanuel. Uh, and so this, actually, I'm pretty excited about this. This is his first time uh, in LA. So we're gonna hit up BattleBots, and then we've got uh, an appearance um, that we're gonna do, we're gonna crush a car in downtown LA with Eagle Prime, and we'll check in later. Casual visit to LA, you know, we're gonna get Megabox on the NASDAQ. You know, hopefully, end of week, we got this thing, uh, you know, going public. Here in my garage, uh, getting my Lamborghini from the Avis dealership. Um, day in the life, really. <laughs> doing with the camera, man. <laughs> Give me that thing. Ready to rock. Our mission tonight is to get Eagle Prime to start up. Oh, so. Be good to see if she still runs. We've arrived. Secret location. Here is the robot. Eagle Prime! Eagle Prime, baby! Here's Rob. The house with the most. So we're gonna test this guy out tonight. Make sure the arms still run. <laughs> Looks like this one has sagged down to the ground. But um, will be no problem at all. I'm sure it'll just start right up. It's gonna be great. The robot worked, but we didn't record any of it. So we'll have to do that tomorrow. Good night. Today we should probably get a lot more footage. We're gonna go to BattleBots in the morning and car crushing at night. So it should be lots of robot destruction. Send help. I haven't had sleep in three days. I, uh, I'm getting paid zero dollars and zero cents to work at Megabots, so, just, uh... Don't tell them that! That's an ice cream truck. Can we, uh, nope. can I get paid an ice cream? Dude. Can I get, like, one ice cream cone, dude? We have robots to smash. The builders here are watching some of the fights happen in real time while they kind of wait for them, their team to get queued up, but we can't show you uh, too many robots or who's, you know, won and lost, because no spoilers this season, so you'll have to watch the show. I think it's going to be on Science and Discovery Channel this summer. Super secret behind the scenes look here at BattleBots. This is Greg. Hey guys. Greg, one of the co-creators of BattleBots. We're going we're to get t-shirts right now so I can rep I can say that I was here. I love talking to Greg because he's just like super nice, generous, he's funny, he's easy to talk to, and he's got a ton of experience running you know, huge productions like this and creating a fighting robots entertainment brand. It's exactly what I'm trying to do, so um, he's a great person to know and he's been super helpful for me, so I'm, I'm hashtag blessed to know Greg. They're tearing down now for the next series of fights, so we're gonna head out of here. We're gonna go back to downtown LA and get ready to crush a car with Eagle Prime. It should be awesome. Yeah, so I think the plan is we're gonna bring the robot out, dance a little bit, let Rob throw some stuff, then turn and drive it outside. There's a white Honda Civic out there that since the last day. I'm witnessing the strangest Tuesday I've seen in a while. <laughs> Uh, where I thought I was going to eat tacos and instead I'm watching a massive robot drive out of a driveway and smash a car. So, I must be in downtown LA. I think they don't have control over the twisting.
anything up, dude. Holy shit. This was, this was awesome because we got the chainsaw and the claw going at the car at the same time and uh, the visibility inside the cockpit is like, it's, it's terrible because the cameras are super fisheye cameras, it distorts the vision, it's hard to see uh, where the arms actually are, you can't see them through the glass and uh, Big Spoon here guided me in very well to be able to kind of do the old pincer attack on that. That was awesome. I'm not here for battle bots, but like, this is a great break. I met Rob probably three months ago, and he always wants to do really, really crazy stuff, which I totally appreciate. Most people know him because he started this company called Soylent, which is like a meal replacement that you drink. Uh, the company's done really well, so now Rob can kind of support doing super crazy stuff. So I'm, I'm very happy I ended up meeting Rob and uh, it's been a blast hanging out with him. So time to head back to the Airbnb and we're gonna go check on a manual. It is time to go to bed and <laughs> get a few hours of sleep and uh, wake up early for the flight tomorrow morning. We are headed back to San Francisco. For this episode, you're probably wondering what any of this has to do with saving the company. Uh, the point was to look at what, how existing fighting robot companies do it, BattleBots. Uh, we got to look at like a big production that's gonna be on TV um, and how, how that works. And then Emmanuel also got a chance to check out what a typical paid appearance looks like um, for Megabots, how clumsy it is to kind of move Eagle Prime around. Um, and just like the logistics of that. So got a good idea of kind of two different examples. We're headed back and we'll kind of like analyze how things went and see where to go forward from there. See you next time.